Well, that feels like a trap. I returned to the valley, because I figured Dusk was leveling relatively low, slowly in the other area. She's probably high enough just to deal with this place. A little weirded out by the fact that the tile directly in front of me is treasure. Okay. Well, I didn't get immediately killed by ninjas, so we'll see how it goes. So we did- we- last time we were here, we had major progress, but I'm gonna do some more loot runs real quick. Partly because we need to get somebody up to snuff. We don't want to have low-level characters dealing with high-level threats before we, they get a few more levels in them. Otherwise, they're gonna be down real fast, and that'd be a problem. It is fun having multiple rangers, though. Yeah, look at that! She does one less damage, or in that particular dice roll, she did one less damage than my main character. She's level f she's level four, so it seems like a big deal. So my main my main priority is just dealing with the fact that she only has like half as many hit points. Speaking of leveling up characters, hi everyone. Oh, same enemies. We could just repeat that, really. Bye. Oh yeah, she'll level up fast at this rate, and then things will be fan. Oh my goodness, this is amazing! Look how fast these are happening. <laughs> we took like a step. Well, that's one way to level fast. Every single step we take makes a new enemy happen in the end. Uh, she's level four. Although her stats are quite high. In particular, because she- uh, I made- I was able to make her an elf. Unlike my- just like how my original character was supposed to be. That's not how you inspect somebody. Hang on a second. I was able to make her an elf, so she has some better stat distribution for a ranger with higher vitality, strength, and agility. Whereas my poor main character had to start off with Nine intelligence and piety and luck, which varying results there. Don't necessarily uh, luck's always a gamble in any game, whether or not it's a completely worthless stat or the ultimate stat or something like that. But probably don't need a ton of intelligence and piety unless you're going to do some crazy cross stat stuff. So, despite being a level four compared to his level eight, uh, she actually has three more agility, on only one less vitality, same strength value. So, it's funny how the stats work out there, but she has half as many hit points because of her level. And that's why she needs to level. Perhaps more than anything. Because having a lot of health is really goddamn useful. Also, having a lot of agility is really good for not ever getting hit. Because it's really great having Strider just somehow never take hits. It seems. I'm sure magic would be a problem. It's very useful for your main character. So our goal is the cleric, fighters, it's clothing in the wooden box, kinda boring. Uh, no, we could use more clothing. I'm sure we get better dice rolls or something for the stats, although wooden box just seems to suggest lower quality loot. Let's, let's hope, there we go, metal box. Katana, these are all the good news. Oh cool, and the Kunoichi's just standing out in the open at the beginning of the fight. And they did not get their ambush opportunity off. So we're all just gonna more like, oh wait, you should do Chivalric Sword, because there's two rows of enemies. Otherwise, we're just gonna pummel this character with everything we've got to make sure they die in the first turn. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's over. Alright. More of that. But now with Slash, I should have just had Slash in the first place, because we went right through those characters. <laughs> okay. The damage output of the current party is scary. She may, be, she may be lower level, but her stats are high, and she's got a very high level bow compared to the rest of my party, so... Things are panning out well with my character. Um... So it could be poison, or it could be MP reduce. Dun-dun-dun! Lich's hand? Yeah, called it. Two katanas, two daggers. It always says that it's a chest of daggers, but then you actually open it, and you get... I mean, it says it's a chest of katanas, but then you open it, and half of it's daggers. Which is a little disappointing. Hi, guys. Bye, guys. Oh, that wasn't even good for her. She'll be on her way, though. She'll be leveling soon. On that topic, though, we just had Pangolin level up. There's a rare occurrence. Our tank is getting more powerful. Agility is always tempting because it's great to have him uh, get missed all the time. But honestly, He's benefiting greatly from a high, high strength so far. He seems to have exceptionally high stats across the board. Do I not have a better spear for you than a 47 yet? Apparently I do not. Do I have a better shield than you, for you than a 521? 
I might not. That's pretty actually pretty good. <laughs> One of these days, this guy is going to be able to afford underwear. <laughs> this poor man. He's up to 259. Oh, hello. Metal chest is a good start. Our goal is the clerics. Clothing. I'll go for clothing. We could get some nice dice, dice rolls and get better equipment than we have right now. Yeah, we'll go for the back row. Of course, Chivalric Sword takes care of that for me. And you can't target the back anyway. You can't slash the back row, so we'll slash up the front row. That's fine, because our two rangers will take turns in the back row. And we'll use Thunderbolt on the front row to get a line attack, now that we know how that works. Yep, there goes one Cleric. Oh, Cleric 2 did not go down as quickly. We tried. It'll likely happen pretty quick here, though. Chivalric Sword. Slash. Oh yeah, the two archers alone is going to be enough. Might as well just defend with my offensive caster. There we go. On a side note, Dark Moon just leveled up. There we go. Also, my ranger just leveled up. Uh, in the background, back at camp, Dark Moon is now leveled up to an another level higher than my other wizards, but she's still recovering, so I can't use her yet. But I believe she's level 7 or 8 or something like that. And as a result, uh, she now has Shield Soul. That seems awfully useful. Your, sp your wizards being able to use shields to help increase their chance of not being obliterated in one hit the way they like to be on a regular basis. Dare I just pump up this, the agility to be even scarier? <laughs> 97 hit points, that's immediately progress for the better. She was down to what, like 80 something before? So these level, every level here counts a lot towards their survivability. Right, keep an eye out for any surprise loot. But we're healthy right now, so I'm, we might be able to just push further into the dungeon with this group, with this crew, and get away with that. Bye, everyone. Some of these encounters definitely just mostly qualify as uh, speed bumps. There's always an encounter right there, huh? I think it's mandatory. You guys shouldn't be that big of a deal. Chivalric Sword. Slash. We'll try to focus fire the back row. Probably just defend with the caster, honestly. Did we just miss? Oh no, we double missed. Every, three people attacked the same guy in the back row and they all missed. The tragedy of it all. I'm gonna go ahead and Holy Light. That'll keep us healthy without having to use up energy for it. For, this, for the minor encounters. We'll try that again, but I don't know if it'll work out. Maybe I will do a Thunderbolt. Oh, another Ranger missed. It happens, I guess. Hitting the back row is not always easy. But the front row is about to cease to exist, and that'll be very helpful. We'll keep going for it. They're, they're both on the verge of going down. Like so. Like so. <laughs> They ended up dying before the front row, after all. At this point, uh, repeat. Gotcha! This is a scary party. I do like my rangers and my knights, in particular, I think. Although, cleric's pretty mandatory, too. And having one samurai around's not bad. The damage output can be good, you just have to be constantly worried about whether they're gonna be absurdly ripped apart in a moment. A metal box sword. I don't really have sword users. I use a mace, a spear, and a katana in the front row. So I'd rather not. Especially when it's double spellcasters, meaning extra danger for me. A shield, on the other hand, could be fun. There's uses for that. Okay. And they don't get the ambush on us. So let's do everything we can to to take out the back row as fast as we can, because that's the character who's got the nasty spells that are going to demolish us really quickly if we're not careful. So people are just excl- oh. Yep, there she goes. You, I couldn't see her die, but I saw the chest move forward and that was enough for me. Like, oh, the chest move, that means that she's dead now. Because apparently chests are animate objects that move closer to you as you defeat their enemies. Or their, their guardians. Video games are weird sometimes. <laughs> We're on our way to leveling up our wizard. 
I wonder if if they'll be high enough for a shield soul. I don't <clears throat> I don't remember if Dark Moon's one level or two levels are higher than them right now. But it'd be very nice to have uh, the Wizard of Shield Soul as we progress towards potentially tougher encounters on the way through here. I'm just gonna go for this top one. The other one's in such a weird labyrinth of uh, shipping containers, I kind of don't want to visit it anymore. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. They're all flying. No. Bye. Weird nightmare fire elemental monsters that always attack in large groups of high-level monsters. There we go. Look at all these level 16s and 17s. That's all, that's immediately more dealable. What? Words? Uh... Just gonna have to cast multi-avoid and we'll be in a good space. And we'll see Slash take out their whole front row, probably. And the rangers will work on their back rows. And somebody will cast Thunderbolt to see what happens. One down. Oh, my main character missed. There we go. A lot of AoE happening here. There's the lightning. A lot of things being used to wipe out hordes of them at once. Uh, and I think a void must have worked out because we're doing fine. We'll just go on the offense. Slash again. Target very various people in the back row. The healthy ones probably. And the spellcaster can take a break. Oh. That time they, they traded off and the ranger got the first hit. Uh, we could really just repeat. There we go. There we go. Groups aren't the problem. Levels are. High level scary monsters. I've, had, I've lost too many characters to people that are to enemies over level 20. It's really refreshing having Hideo just constantly get his hit points, uh, his uh, energy back when we're walking around. He can just keep casting. That's a lot of thieves. Should I be worried about that? It is a lot of thieves. Not the highest level. The 19s and 18s worry me. The sheer number kind of worries me. I'm just going to pass on it. This game's all about calculated risks, and there's no reason to be pointlessly risky about some of this stuff. See, there's like... There's way fewer of them now, and they're lower level. That just makes sense. In a game that constantly hits you with a uh, borderline permadeath and long recovery times, you have to make... You have to, be, you have to be careful about what kind of actual risks you want to take. Or things go poorly. Very poorly. I'm trying to save them some of the energy here, so let's have the wizard hang out. Oh, double misses. Kind of expected to have ha that happen, honestly. Let's get the uh, multi-hit on the party. That'll help with those chances a bit. One down in the back row. Oh yeah, more hitting immediately. I wonder if I, if it, with a sufficiently evasive group of enemies, I wonder if I should just use multi-hit every turn just to help the entire party over and over again. It wouldn't be insane. There we go. Here comes the uh, AoE. Never mind. It only really works if the attacks land. They're down though. Everything's fine. And our wizard progresses to the next numerical progression. Hi. What do you guys got, huh? Oh, they're adorable. Get out of here. Give us our loot. Oops. I'm mixing up my triggers. What am I doing here? It's like I never played this game before. I would. I've already lost interest. You want, so you, so I have to deal with the threat of two wizards at once that can target anyone in my party and I don't even get good loot for it. No, thank you. Ooh. Oh. That's a bad. There's a balance there. Like, ooh, the, the, the tempting possibility of another high level bow mixed with the nightmare of so many enemies. That said, they're all very low level. The highest level of the entire enemy party is 15. No one's approaching 20 like the last crew we saw. Also, are those archers in the front row? The middle ones seem to be thieves. The, the front two are rangers. Those are a weird place to keep your rangers. Oh, right, because the premise is that we're ambushing them while they're moving around, so we're probably attacking them from behind, which is why the rangers are in the back. Uh, I'll fight them. Oh, we've been ambushed. 
That's why they're, now, they're, now their rangers are in the back. Uh, yes, I would like to counter with the divinity. Uh, black wall. To help us block the first wave of danger. Ow. No. Oh no, not four damage. What will I do? Please don't crit, please don't crit, please don't crit, please don't crit. <laughs> More or less the standard response to that situation. Alright, Holy Light. We'll keep that going. Chivalric Sword attack somebody in every row. That'll be scary with, the, with this many rows. Uh, Multi-Avoid. Slash. Let's just beat our way through the front row of enemies right now. Let's learn something, by the way. Uh, Pangolin's attack is a line attack that attacks three rows, all three rows, or even four if there's four. Or I don't even know if there can be four. Uh, it just attacks every row. I'm wondering if Lightning might attack multiple rows. So when Lightning comes up, I'll try to pause and pay attention to who it hits to see if it see if it hits more rows than just than just two even. See, like Pangolin, you just saw watching him attack three rows at once. It didn't do well, but he tried. That's the important thing. Here's okay. Here's Thunderbolt. One, two, it's over. Okay, it seems to only attack two rows then. We learned thing. Congratulations on thing learning. Let's let's help with that hit chance now that we've helped with the avoid chance a second ago. Keep these thunderbolts going because it's a lot of enemies. I was hoping that that guy would go down early so the uh, slash could attack the next row in its entirety. So that I can tell from the animation there that that attack. Oh, enemy leader's about to escape. I wasn't even thinking about enemy leaders. I was so focused on just beating the... not losing the fight. Uh, so I could see the enemy attack animation hit my wizard, but you could see the damage get applied to Pangolin, so that was an example of him intercepting the attack. Let's keep Black Wall going. Chivalric Sword. Thankfully, the enemy leaders should be... Yeah, they're the ones in the front row, so it should be easy to attack them uh, directly, especially with Slash. Keep it going. Yeah, now that we're down to just them, that should be much of a problem. That was a waste of lightning, though, that's for sure. Alright, normal attack, normal attack, slash, normal attack, normal attack, defend. Don't want to waste any more spell on this. We've already wasted a few amount. A fair amount. Ooh, agonizingly close to the next level on our wizard. And our ranger's already making the lap. Uh, metal, uh, likely metal things are lich hand and poison gas. Teleport party is unlikely, but it would be the worst penalty. Sometimes it's, te it's tempting to just click on the thing that sucks, just to make sure it doesn't happen. Because <laughs> otherwise, these traps spring on you, but then you still get what's inside of them. Which is a bit of a surprise, because uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a contrast to another game I'm playing. Because in, in a Darkest Dungeon, if you spring a trap on a chest, you just don't get anything from inside of it, which is a bummer. Try Lich's hand. I was right. A sling. One sling. Yeah, sure. That was worth it. <laughs> Dare we press even deeper? Ooh, there's a chest down there. I want a chest. Don't mind me. Just gonna wander over here. Yay, bottles. Your item bag's full. Well, fuck me. Um. Damn it. Damn it. So many unidentified items. Maybe I should just, you know, go identify them real quick instead. A uh, battle cloth is garbage. Oh right, you need to sort. Uh, battle cloth sucks. Anything that's like the super low level starter type things, we could just get rid of at this point. Oh god. There's not even tabs on this thing, is there? It's just it just goes forever. <laughs> there, that'll help me out a bit. Goodbye, generic clothes. Now our inventory is rather full, so... Yeah. We'll make our way right back to here in a moment, but for now... Let's make our way out of here. So our inventory is full again. I wonder if you can increase your inventory capacity at some point. I always think that some of the most disappointing reasons to ever... Pause in a RPG... Tend to be either... Your inventory is maxed out, or... Your equip burden is at maximum, or like some weapon ran out of durability is always like, oh, well, these aren't the fun parts. Like, there's some things I like because they make the game more inter more interesting and more difficult, and like the little twists they have to work around all the time. 
But when you're in, when it's just inventory capacity, it always feel, feels like kind of eh. Like I think there's a reason why. Oh, wood katanas, really? Thanks. Oh, never mind. Zawaka is actually eight, and a thief cloth four. Someone will wear that. A healer's tunic. That's new. Kite shield plus one. I think I have a better one than that. What do you do? Hit points to plus two per turn. That's nice. Strong against fire. Ooh. Helpful against those elemental attacks that attack the back row. A cloth weapon. That's nice. We have a we have a sword probably. You're the wrong, you're not my samurai. So your your weapons do 21 and 26 times two. How does that compare to the new one? 30 times two. That one gives us a bonus to unlocking chests. But I don't know if I care about that in, in the context of just having high quality combat. Long katana. So the wakazashi plus eight, and then the long katana on the offhand, I think. That should pan out. That should be a nice damage increase. Let's give you... Let's see, this is, she has, they have a 2-8 right now. How's the healer tunic compare? It's a 4-3 that heals. Is this not worth it? It's a less effective piece of defense. It gives you 2 health at a time, which is nice if you're constantly needing to heal. But constantly needing to heal implies you're taking damage a lot, and if you're taking damage a lot, you want to wear heavy armor, so... A slow heal on a, on a piece of heavy armor would be nice. But on this, I don't know if I care. It might be better just to have better defensive gear instead. Let's see who are my shield users. It really is just you, huh? We, yeah, we have we already, we got a kite shield plus one out of that, but that's a plus five already, so that's not much you need at the moment. Our inventory is definitely increasing here. I'm gonna have to find some stuff to sell. Now we do the big charge straight for the back gate. And any other interruptions that come along the way. Hi. Hello. Ah, oh, it's not so bad. Just throwing a chivalric sword and a few attacks. A slash here and there. We'll be doing fine. Wow, we're one-shotting things. This is no joke. Goodbye. Whoa, that actually finished them off. <laughs> Oops, we'll have to remember that chest in a moment. And by a moment, I mean right now, and to level up our wizard. Cancel the auto move, there we go. You almost snuck past me. No you don't. No you don't. Been, that was mostly just, a, just several minutes of me selling off low level versions of equipment and bamboo items and trying to filter through what to get rid of. A hundred slots sounds like a lot of space. I wonder if I should have his agility up at all to avoid, help with avoidance, just because people do attack. Ah, intelligence. You're a wizard. Shield soul, there it is. Let's give you a shield immediately. There we go, 21 defense, just like that. That's the best one we have, right? Yeah. That's immediately a help. Uh, that's most of his defense, is that one shield. That seems awfully helpful for making him not die instantly. Although, if a crit happens, a crit happens, because I've been informed that a crit in this game can just... It's just like an automatic kill, which is why it doesn't say anything about damage dealt. It's just like, they were hit by a crit, now they're dead. And that's just the entire explanation of the situation. Oh, we've been ambushed. Excuse me. Blackwall. That'll help us out. Here come the hits. No crits, no crits. No crits, actually. Now they suffer. Are they durable or something? Oh, they're not too bad. I was wondering why we were, they weren't going down instantly. There we go. Inwards. The shield soul should be a pretty big help. I think that makes... Oh, there's an item back there. We'll have to remember that in a second. Hi. No. I usually run from you guys already. You think I'm going to fight you when you have six other people with you? Thank goodness for flash escape. An item that exists purely because of the fact that the game's packed with RNG encounters. Hello. Chest. Alright, onwards again. Ta-da! 
Better? Much better. Bye, everyone. Yeah, I'll save the tough fights for the story fights, which are probably gonna come up in a moment here, because we're going through a new zone. Full of traps and spikes and other nasty. Alright, one spike out of the way. Let's get filling this map in so we can know through if we're missing anything around here. What's with the storage container? Do I have a way into that one? I wonder if I should be searching for secrets along here. Oh wait, never mind, that's the uh that's the ambush container. I've been inside that already. I was misreading my map somehow. Congrats. I can't wait for the next pitfall to happen. This level might not have another floor for me to fall into, I guess, so maybe there won't be any pitfalls. I just keep expecting it to happen, because they've teased me with it now. It's happened exactly once in the entire video game so far. Like, oh yeah, by the way, there's holes you can fall in sometimes, just as a nasty surprise. And then it never comes up again after the first time. <laughs> like, now it's just like a... It's like the equivalent of establishing the existence of a jump scare and then letting us not know about them forever. Those are high-level enemies. They're just poison flies, though. Dare I risk it? Maybe I'll give it a shot. We'll do multi-avoid to help with our chance of avoiding. Oh my god, they're all in one row. That's per that's perfect. This is going to be fantastic. Throw out a fire spell in there. Oh, that's one down. Okay, the incoming damage is maybe no joke. Okay. They, they can do, Okay, they can deal damage. We'll respond with, uh... Holy Light. I was using Chivalric Sword when there's no reason to, huh? And we'll try a Multi-Cure. Another one of those nasty slashes. And we'll try to target the weakest units of the party to reduce the number of attackers. There we go. Okay, this may have not been worth it. This may be an, a reminder not to mess with high-level units. It just sounded like a good time, damn it. Black wall. Still sticking it out for now. Let's cure the poison. Keep that slash going. Seems awfully effective to me. Oh, we're missing a lot is part of the problem. It's not doing me any favors right now. Ooh, more poison. Okay. Not... Not a safe encounter. Get that cure poison out. Keep those slashes going. There we go. But as, as we continue, the number of opponents significantly... Re oh! That's what I get. That's what I get for playing around. Alright. Well, I kind of did this to myself, didn't I? You just you got you gotta test the the water every now and then, though, because the, you can't you don't know what the levels mean, so you kind of have to be like, uh, well, we're level this and they're level that. Let's see how that measures up, and the answer is not very well. <laughs> but uh, oftentimes you don't know until you try. This, after all, is not World of Warcraft, so you can't be like, Oh yeah, I'm level 5, they're level 5, that means we're meant for each other. In this game, you're level 5, they're level 27... I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Well, that was a bad idea. I'll press forward for a little bit more experience first, but uh, we're gonna have to go back to, to camp. Thankfully! So, that's another gate. Let's explore everything behind- that's before the gate instead. Because the gate itself is pr is that all that's up before the gate? Oh. Okay, fine. We'll do an ambush. How about that? Yeah, the, um... Oh, that was a little rough. The good- the good news is Yoshimitsu's already healed up, so we have a replacement, uh, samurai to use. Just in time. I might as well get a little bit more experience out of this before I leave. I done goofed. I wonder if there's a table someone has made somewhere that tells you what level you should be to fight what level in this game. I do much prefer when a game simply is like, hey, if they're your level, that then you should fight them. But in this game, everyone, the entire time I've been playing has been like... 50% to double my level, basically. So the numbers are basically... It's always a gray area of guesswork, in a weird way. More armor would, could be good, we might get lucky. And the knight is our target, which usually makes him an easy person to take down. I'll take it out. 
Man, that went bad fast. Okay, let's, let's cure the poison. And our long-range characters are gonna go for their nasty person in the background. To cast a thunderbolt for some AoE. There we go. That's one. That's one wizard down immediately. And a bit of staggered damage. We'll take out the other wizard now. There we go. And so the threat is disarmed, more or less. Get out of here. Oh. That was them being ready to leave. Get, die. There we go. <laughs> Don't go missing on me. We got things to do. Well, at least my backup ranger's leveling up. And maybe we're getting good loot. Maybe. We'll find out when I leave. I, I know I can identify during the runs. It just seems like, uh... I don't know. It kind of feels like it's a waste of time just because it'll automatically identify when I'm on my way out. Maybe later in the game there will be, like, these massive dungeons that take 500 years to get through and... It'll be more worth it to investigate midway through. There we go. She's just learned Confine. She does more damage than my main character per shot. Although, admittedly, slightly lower hit chance, I suppose. But, uh... She just now learned Confine at that, at that difference. That's what level six... That's the level six problem. She's still the lowest level person, and one of them's dead, so that's impressive. So by the time we actually get back to using Nate 2 again, she'll probably be, like, level nine or ten, because of the way that people level up surprisingly quickly when they're not even being used. As they wait in your reserves, they make a surprising amount of progress. Alright, so next episode we'll come back with Yoshimitsu, and uh, he'll be our replacement samurai, and we'll go go at this again. Not much to, not much to worry about here, really. Cast Holy Light real quick for the sake of defenses. What even was that sound? Was that just the sound of us being healed by the, uh, holy light? The, it sounded like a funeral bell. <laughs> I seriously thought I'd heard a glimpse of, like, a funeral bell, like somebody had permanently vanished forever. Hi, guys! No. I've learned my lesson. I'm not playing with you. Get out of here with your high-level nonsense. I'm, st I'm strictly fighting teenagers today. Like any good anime character. No adults allowed in our fantasy world. I did not mean to do that. Shit. Uh, we'll probably be fine. What's the item? Uh, it's gonna be a bow. Alright. I meant, I, that was a good case of me meaning to, uh, investigate, but pressing A slightly too fast and walking straight into this. We'll start out with multi-avoid to keep ourselves healthy. Go for the rangers in the back row. That'll be, that'll be satisfying. Cast those thunderbolts. Oh, there goes the ranger immediately. That was actually a pretty good approach. I might even keep that going. Just keep spamming multi avoid to keep us safe. Seems to be working. Yep. How's all this pain feeling for you guys? Oh right, I let this. I let the leader escape. That was an all around. Yeah, I mishandled everything about that. Oh, we murdered their faces off and got a bunch of experience. So at least there's that. I have a really bad tendency to see a giant group of enemies and then only think about the fact that I'm fighting a giant group of enemies and then forget about, oh, right. I'm supposed to target a specific character in a specific amount of time where they're going to run away with the loot, which is the real reason I'm here. I think I go into survival mode where I see the, uh, the huge group and I'm like, okay, we just need to not die. That's our primary goal now. Just gotta be careful with the clicks here. So there's two wizards and two fighters. An accessory box. Accessories, good. Wood, maybe not. It's still it's still an assumption, but I, I do think that uh, accessories have to affect the, uh, the the quality of the box has to affect what's in it, right? Yeah, this is an easier encounter and better loot. Just the obvious goal. Get that holy light established. Chivalric sword. Fighto. And everybody obliterate their damn back row character. Our wizard's just gonna hang out because they're out of energy now. After that that uh, encounter we just had. Alright, well, their leader's down, so now we just sort of swarm them, really. So like this. Bye everyone! 
Hideo's just agonizingly close to leveling up again. Oh, goodness. This is what happens when you lose your samurai that's good at opening boxes. Is you suddenly have every option available to you. Probably poison or lich, could, but it could technically be anything. It was lich. A rare hat. Well, to color me interested. What is your hat? Oh, hi. You've been ambushed by by dark members. Uh, Blackwall. Alright, we, we can probably take these guys just fine. They're just knights. They, those are very rarely an actual threat. As seen in that. I think I feel like my knights are much more threatening than any of the knights we've encountered in this game. Because mine are unkillable, seemingly, and deal a fair amount of damage when they land. But their knights seem to be like basically just like a wall that you can walk around. <laughs> All of these consumables. Flammable alcohol. Potent alcohol from made from fire plants. Damage uh, to one row of enemies. Veggie medicine. Scrap armor plus four. Ooh, light armor plus eight. That's a high number. That could be a good item. Butterfly hat. I'm always jumping about butterfly items because they might have a, a health draining thing. Engraving storm gathering bows. Is it good at bows? Thief's feather. A winged hat bandits prefer. That sounds like a great bandit hat. A heel hat. We got look at all these hats we got the last second. Turn this turn this whole attempt around, aren't we? Are you even wearing a hat? You're wearing a leather helm. How about this uh, thief's feather? Oh wow. Ten defense and one avoid. This character's never gonna go down. And it has plus two to to uh, unlocking. So the hat just gives you some health each turn. And his strongest fire. Alright. Probably pop that onto this guy instead of the circlet. Yep. That should be worth it. It's, it's, I mean, it's going from zero defense to three. Is the headband? Oh, the headband's a five defense item. But it doesn't do anything. I'd give that to somebody else. Strongest fire could help inco against incoming attacks. Uh, dented pot is not very good. It's a butterfly hat too. Hit points every turn, so it's a it's a gain instead of a loss. Uh, spell resistance and defense. Uh, storm gathering bows. That's curious. I wonder if the engravings mean something or if they're just random descriptions. Because both are conceivable. Do I have anything better than the headband? And the leather helm, that seems to be the same item, basically. But is medium. I'll use the headband. That seems reasonable. Alright, let's go get our, our samurai replaced real quick. Poor guy. Poor lady. Poor thing. Yeah, 83 from standby, nice. So you are in pain. You're the wrong one. <laughs> First of all, take off all of the equipment, which is slightly creepier when now that they now they have underwear as an item. Treat death, which is just the most hilarious description they give you. See on the fighter is leveled up again. Agility, vitality, decent spread here. Claw soul, you can use claw weapons and bow weapons. That in itself is a bit of a surprise. I didn't see that one. I didn't really see that one coming. The probably he's probably my highest level fighter now. Oh no, Scarlet's level two already. Oh, Sion's recovering for one more day. So Scarlet's ready to come in, and we can bring in uh, Yoshimitsu. They both finished getting their their life points back. Dark Moon's already ready too, but we'll wait for our other mage to take a bad hit first. Let's bring in Yoshimitsu. Add to party. Alright, so when you see him next, he'll be wearing all of our friend, uh, Neitu's equipment. And hopefully, he won't- he'll have much longer and more interesting career during this run than he did the first time I used him. <laughs>